Okay guys, Venkum17 here today. We're playing Minecraft Survival. We're back and we're ready to rock. So, I only got back into Minecraft a couple of days ago and uh, I'm really happy with how we started off. We've got ourselves sorted and ready to travel. Last time I checked, it's still light outside. Now, uh, I'm not sure if there's a farm or anything around, but we're gonna pick up our home. Cause we're just that kind of we're just that kind of peak person, and we're gonna go find out if uh, there is a farm. <laughs> well, the villagers are dead. That sucks. Sorry, go sorry, dudes. I tried to save you. I didn't. I really didn't. I didn't do a goddamn thing. I didn't even know they were under attack. To be honest, it shows how much I fucking care. This has to be the only test of a village I've ever come across that doesn't have a motherfucking farm. <laughs> That's annoying. I think everybody's dead. <laughs> Fuck. And I did nothing to help. I don't know if I should just feel impassive or if I should feel bad. I mean, just take a look at them. They were just normal men and women, you know? Trying to live happily. And then zombies came into the village and the only one that could protect them did fuck all because he was in bed. The story of my fucking life. Missing all the action. I would have loved to have seen them getting turned into zombies. I've never actually seen it happen. Like, I know those are villager zombies, but I've never actually seen someone turn into a villager zombie. And I know it's strange that I'd find that oddly funny, or at least interesting, but, uh... You've got to admit, the change is pretty astronomical. It's pretty, pretty strange. I definitely want to have a look at it. I know I would if I had the fucking opportunity to. We're going to grab the wool from these things, because, you know... And we're gonna grab. We can pick up grass. I can't shear a chicken, apparently. What if I just want its feathers? What if I don't want to kill it? it seems a little unfair. Alright, we got shears, so I suppose I can do. More stuff. Um, yeah, we're just gonna shear all the sheep real quick. Because wool is always useful. It's a useful resource to have. I don't know what you can actually build out wool aside from a bed, but I mean, it's got to be something else. We'll collect some leaves as well. Just because I've never actually had leaves in, um... Never actually had leaves in survival mode. It's pretty interesting. It's very interesting, actually. Anyway, uh, moving on. Was there a baby test difficult? Yeah, I hear you, freak. That's not even the first monster I've wanted. Maybe it's the first monster I killed with an iron sword. I don't fucking know, but I know it's not the first monster I've ever killed. Game's just being ridiculous now. Okay, uh, just because, why not? Uh, fuck, what should we do here then? What should we take with us? Also, we should put the wool away. We'll take three with us. And we need some wood, apparently. Because I haven't got any on me. But let's be fucking honest, everybody's dead here anyway. Might as well just take it from the goddamn wall. You know. I, I, I'm not normally the kind of person to take apart structures, but guys, it's fucking, it's broken. <laughs> Clearly, I mean, zombies were getting in despite the fact that all the fucking doors were blocked off specifically to stop zombies from getting in there. And it was. That's why it was blocked off. So, I don't know what to say. I tried. I put the effort in. Didn't fucking work, but I tried. Million dollar question. What the fuck is more flesh for? I, I'm going to ask. Because I have no idea. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. There it is. It doesn't help that I've got a cold, so I'm going to be sniffling all the way through this, because... But damn it, I'm enduring for you guys. What is this for? You used to be able to turn it into leather, but... Now... I've got leather, though, in fairness. We've got plenty of fucking iron. Might as well make ourselves a set of armor. Just because if we don't have a set of armor, I'm sure something's going to go terribly wrong. And if we do have a set of armor, 
something's still going to go terribly wrong, but at least we'll die with fighting champs, so... That's one thing. In any case, wherever the fuck we're off to now, we're about to get ourselves some more stuff. Right, we've got two swords, two three pickaxes, two spare pickaxes. We're not really going to need axes, but we've got two shovels, some shears. I'll put the hoe back. Uh, we won't need to take the iron with us either. We'll take the cobblestone because that'll be useful. And what other food would we need, realistically? I mean... There's not really anything to go on here. I don't know. We don't really have any food. Uh, we can take the apples with us, I suppose. It's only a little bit of extra space. We're really going to have to look into creating ourselves like a fucking farm or something, because we need some food. It's getting dark outside. I'll wait for it to uh, be daytime again. Just because I feel we'll be safer. Fuck, I can't bother waiting. It'll be dark by the time I get out, but... No, hold on. Close it. This is the part where we actually use the goddamn tunnel. That glowstone's effective. Lights up the passageway quite nicely. Alright, so we got the shears in case we need to cut for any spider webs, because let's be honest, guys. Who doesn't want to cut for the fucking spider webs? Who wants to sit there getting trapped on the goddamn things? And I have a feeling there's a dungeon down in the area we were gonna explore. Right, uh. Yep, here we go, this is where we were going. There's a lot to this area, I mean, this right here is a nice vertical fucking draw. So we're going to try and be careful about how we run this. I don't particularly want to die because I wasn't careful. I don't know about you guys, I like living, it's nice, it's, uh, it's comfy. Okay, we're just trying to park our way down without getting into too much shit. I'm not going to go after that because I can only see one piece. It's bound to be more there, but... Ah, oh, get out of here, Skelly. Put on our arm because we're like right next to a fucking chasm. Hey, buddy. Okay, then. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll find out what's up this way. Uh. <clears throat> I'm guessing there's like a lava fat up here. Mm. But it's worth a look either way. There we go, we've got some more iron. So if we find a few pieces of iron, it's always worth going into a mine. Iron has quite a few uses that we could actually end up going with. Oh, fuck. Skelly's over there. We're safe to mine this little area. As long as we don't go too far out. And into his sort of view. Um, they won't get us killed. Because <coughs> we have enough food to keep ourselves regenerating. We have enough health that it's not going to be a concern. At least not an immediate concern. But, um, still, should be careful anyway. Always be careful. <coughs> Whilst playing Minecraft, it's very important. You don't particularly want to get fucked up by a creeper. No, none of us do. We don't want to see you go hollow. I've been playing way too much Dark Souls. I mean Dark Souls. Watching Dark Souls. Okay. We're definitely hitting quite a lot of iron. And I'm seeing some coal over there. So I think we're, we're, when we're get, kicking some resources around pretty easily. And this place definitely, we've already seen it goes down a diamond level. I'm thinking it's possible 
and I definitely wouldn't rule this out, that there is diamonds in that chasm, so I'll probably go and have a look in a minute. Just because that's something <clears throat> that's useful to find and have a look at and mess around with. We can find some diamonds, get back to the fucking nether, find a goddamn nether fortress, find a blaze spawner. We have a chance. Well, obviously, it's a little more complicated than that. I'm not going to be doing anything fancy like create myself a brewing stand in this playthrough just because <clears throat> I don't have the time or the resources and it would take forever to get that amount of um, oh, hello, gold. Take forever to get that amount of stuff. Gold is useful for people who think it's not. Uh, you can create yourself some, I mean, aside from the fact that occasionally villagers want it, you can create yourself some pretty kick-ass power rails if you're into that kind of thing and you travel around more quickly. Of course we've got saddles, so we're trying to get ourselves horses, but it's great for mines anyway. And certainly if you've got yourself several different like safe houses in the game, you can use the power rails to get there if you haven't found a horse. Now we haven't found a horse yet, but I'm hoping we will soon. Because obviously a horse is a very useful thing to have. It's not just cool, it's actually useful. I've always loved having horses just because the speed at which you travel when you have them is fucking awesome. Also, I love horses in real life, so it's, it's a bonus. <clears throat> yeah, but we're, we're definitely getting some work done here, guys. We're definitely putting our nose to the grind. And, I, yeah, this is one of those things. Minecraft, it doesn't really get as repetitive as you might think. Watching it might do. I don't know, but it's been a while since we've been, like, sitting in a fucking mine, actually doing shit, so I wouldn't know if you guys would find this boring or not. I know I'm not finding it boring, certainly. But, I mean, nobody ever leaves fucking feedback, so it's not like I ever get, um, information on what's boring or what's not, fortunately. Which is a little sucky. But, there you go. I mean, you know, it's the best I can do. If nobody gives me feedback, I just kind of go with what I like. I mean, I mean I've been telling everybody who's subscribed recently, because I've been hunting for subscribers. I've been telling everybody, I'd really appreciate some feedback. Share it with your friends. I think a couple of people have been sharing it with their friends. Much appreciated. But I don't think, really, there's not been that many comments. There have been a few, but none of them were really feedback so much as a, Hi! And cool intro, dude. But I mean, the intro... That actually is some feedback, and some pretty useful feedback as well, because occasionally I doubt my own intro. Even though I think it's awesome, I doubt what you guys would think about it. So it's good to know you guys like it as well. But yeah, it did take a lot of fucking work though, it should be, uh, should be good. Because all my other intros I did myself, but I got my very good friend Will Talk, or this is WWT. <clears throat> to help me, and he is fucking awesome, guys. He his work with my channel was badass. He's actually on his way to creating a website that's gonna help YouTube developers with free free assets in order to help them, you know, really hit it on YouTube. So he's a great guy. I mean, you know, and he's in my little YouTube company, which is badass. So whenever I need a hand, he's always there. You know. Right off the bat, just saying, yep, yeah, what, what's up, what do you need? Really great guy. I'll leave a link to him in the description, if I remember. I should remember, because I generally watch for the footage anyway, but you got my point. <clears throat> but yeah. So, yeah, people are probably noticing I'm wearing, like, the same shirt I was wearing, like, yesterday. When it, it wouldn't even be yesterday for you guys. It would be a few days ago. And the reason for that is... <clears throat> the reason for that is because I'm not sure I'd be able to record on Tuesday. So what I did was I recorded everything in, like, a bulk load. Like, I did four recordings one day. I did six recordings the next. So I've been fucking busy is what I've been doing, been, essentially. And of course, yesterday's episodes, which I still haven't posted. So this is like fucking like weird Inception shit. Because I got it all planned out, but you guys like have already seen what yesterday's episodes would be. Because they were yesterday. Actually, that's good. That, ladies and gentlemen, that is being eco-friendly. Yeah, why waste my pickaxe? He's a goddamn creeper. That's just being smart. 
But yeah, I mean, like, what I did was I recorded it all in one go. Over the space of two days, I did a shit ton of recording. And what this led to is the, uh, kind of ever so slightly annoying... Kind of ever so slightly annoying truth that... Well, I'm making very little sense. What I mean is, because I recorded it all in one go, but not necessarily in the right order, what happened yesterday, which I suppose would be Vanish and... Um, what was your point? Vanish and a very organized thief. That was it. So yesterday would have been f f fucking Vanish and a very organized thief because I've organized it that way. But I haven't actually posted the videos as I'm saying this. By the time you're watching this, that th th those videos are up. But at the time of me saying this, I have not actually posted the videos, which is kind of strange to think about. We'll drop that because I'm okay with that kind of fall. I have no idea if we're going to manage to get out of here or not, because, to be honest, it seems like a, a very, very sealed off cave. Oh, here we go. No. Couldn't be. For a second, uh, I thought it was in, like, my old cave system. Can you imagine if I'd managed to do that kind of circle? Holy fucking shit. <clears throat> that would legitimately fucking scare me. I'd be like, there is a god, and he's trying to tell me he's gonna kill me. Oh god, that'd be fucking weird though, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, in my off time when I'm not actually recording, to try burrowing my way to that fucking cave. Hello, I fucking knew it. I knew there was gonna be diamonds down here somewhere. I didn't know, I didn't know exactly where, but I knew it'd be here somewhere. They fucking go. Ah, oh, I'm so fucking happy. That makes my day. Yeah, a friend of mine um, commented that I haven't really been doing as much editing to some of the videos that I've been uploading as I do to others. For example, you got like the chicken dance in Combat Evolved Part Two, and then you don't really have that kind of that same kind of editing in every video. The reason for that is because. As well as the fact that it takes a cubic shit ton of time to edit that stuff in, people don't really notice it as much. So, I mean, I'm still going to do it, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stop doing it, I enjoy doing it. It's just when I don't have time to do it, I don't do it. So, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a pretty hard thing to explain, I guess, but that's essentially what I'm getting at. Is that Lapis Lazuli? You know, I, I, I don't know if I would ever have use for Lapis, but... You know, we'll grab it anyway. Right, we got our diamonds. And I don't know if we should just call it quits and head back out, or if we should make a fucking home base. Make a home base, make a house a home. I'm not endorsed by a home base, for the record. I just thought I'd be that guy. Now I'm gonna have, like, fucking copyright claims because I said home base. And then used their motto. So in order to stop that, I am not in any way affiliated with home base. Nor would I want to be. They're kind of shitheads. I'm such a great person. Alright. Here we go. B bit more iron. I saw it on my way in, so I know I'm acting like I'm, like, really surprised by it. But, you know. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah, iron. Ooh. Manly. Seems I could make a good hub world for this cave. And I think that is where I'm going to actually set everything up. This wouldn't be a bad idea. It's always good to be organised, after all. Oh, we're getting in quite a lot of iron as well. I think we'll be good for iron for quite some time. Quickly check what's off down here because I'm curious. I can actually see this being my um <coughs> my little my little basey wasey. Yes, yeah, so I just said basey wasey, you can fucking deal with it. And we're gonna mark it off. Because it's smart to mark things off, just so you remember everything that you're doing. 
What am I doing? Fucking, I'm being an idiot. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Okay. It's, doesn't that look much better? So that's actually where we're gonna um, save thank you and good night, I guess. Uh, as you can see, we're in the knee, we're knee deep in shit in this cave. But I mean, we got to sell some resources. We got to sell quite a bit of iron, quite a bit of coal, and we got ourselves a couple of diamonds. So I'd say that's good for today. What I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be concentrating on getting myself um, too much, too many diamonds straight off the bat because I'm fine with entering the Never with iron gear. So I'm going to be entering the Never, and I'm going to be trying to get those blaze rods because that's the best way of doing things. If you ask me, it's just Put your fucking nose to the grindstone and just get on with it. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be trying to get my hands on the, the fucking blaze rod so that we can actually play the game. Now, it's going to be quite a, a few more parts before we actually complete it, but I reckon we can be done eventually. That's really all I've got. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, a comment. If you're new to my channel, please take the time to subscribe and maybe even share with your friends because that always helps. And as always, I will see you in the next video. This is Venkum 107 signing out. See you later, hunters.